Okay, so a lot of people have been asking me to try out the game Catherine, which is coming out this summer. It's from the makers of Persona. And uh, so the demo came out for this game today. I said, what the hell? Let's give it a whirl. Let's see what this game is like. It's supposed to be a really strange, mysterious love triangle with murder and blood and fucking puzzles and nudity and dicks and fucking giant pulsating titties or something. I don't know. But let's figure out what the hell this game's about right now with this demo. What the fuck was that? Oh, God! A flying fucking sheep that lands on top of a Catherine symbol and dies. Okay. Catherine! What the shit? Okay. He's tied to a bed with a girl on it by barbed wire and he's got ram horns. And he's in his boxers. Okay. Press any button. Enjoy our story by taking... Enjoy our story by taking control of our tormented main character and leading him to freedom. Okay. Take, take on the trials once you're adept at the game. That's, that's retail only. Configuration. Okay, let's do it. Golden Theater. Start the story. Oh, hey, babe. The beginning. She's cute. She's got nice titties, too. I guess we gotta do easy. If all you're interested in is the story, this is for you. The difficulty is the lowest, and you can use the undo options in the game. Ah, what are the other ones saying? Face difficult puzzles and experience the thrilling action you can only find in Catherine. And then hard. Think you're an advanced player? The difficulty level requires the greatest of skills. All right, let's obviously got to be easy. all you're interested in is... Sit back and enjoy the strange tale of Catherine. Oh, the music's interesting. Grab and block, confirm use items, can't let go. Move Vincent, move no blocks. Under previous action, cable control. Open the menu. Come on. At the world, all the world's a stage, and all the men and women are merely players. Shakespeare, as you like it. Ah, it was a happy day. A gorgeous day in, in Toontown. Godzilla destroyed everything, and a beautiful hot Marilyn Monroe blonde crossed the screen while a haunted zombie ripped out of the ground. A tidal wave washed over the entire earth, killing everything. And then Lupin the Third fired a bullet, and then we went to the beach for some reason. Ooh. And then, oh my god, it's the girl from the ring. And then Moses was on top of Mount Sinai, and then it said Golden Playhouse. What the fuck was that? <laughs> that was the biggest clusterfuck I think I've ever seen in my life. Okay. He's naked. Well, he's got boxers on. He's got a pillow and he's got ram horns. Shadows of the Dan. What the hell? Oh, the stairs are disappearing. Underground cemetery. Uh, Hurry up and climb. Who are you? Save your breath and start climbing. Huh. If you fall, you're dead. Oh shit. I'll die. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> the bottom of the stage is falling. No shit. Use the directional pad to move and climb. The D-pad? What about the fucking thumbstick? Oh, I need to use the D-pad. I can't use the thumbstick. What the hell just happened? Oh my god! What the fuck was that? Oh! Rest in peace. Oh man. Now's not the time to be dead. That was not good. I see, there's only certain ones that I can climb. Alright. Move the blocks to make a path. You can climb one block at a time, right? How am I supposed to move these things? Press the A button to grab the block. Okay. While holding the block, use the directional pad to push or pull it. Also, on easy difficulty, you can undo your last move by pressing back. Aha! Use it to give yourself a second chance. Okay, here we go. Oh, 
What the fuck? How's that block just sitting there? It's impossible. <laughs> Huh. We'll grant you an additional continue. Ah, okay. If you see one, make an effort to get it. It'll be worth the effort. Okay, crazy, invisible, headless guy who's telling me what to do. I kind of got it. Oh, I got money. Don't just push blocks around without thinking about it. They'll collapse, and you can put yourself into an impossible situation. Okay. Collapse? Moving blocks around carelessly can make things more difficult for you. Huh. First, try pulling a block to make some footing. Okay. Right, I got it. Aha, okay, I see. I don't want to do that. Fuck. Oh, shit. Whoa! I fucked. That. I was holding the wrong. I was holding the wrong. I keep holding A by accident. Now what do I do? Okay, here we go. All right. All right, I got it. Uh huh. What is it? Who is that? These blocks aren't normal. They'll lock into place and support your weight, even if they're only touching by their edges. What's that supposed to mean? They connect at the edges. Even if a block has nothing directly under it, right. as long as it's touching an edge of another block, it won't fall down. We've already seen that. Okay. The edges glow bluish white when making a connection. Try it for yourself. supposed to do here? Oh, here we go. I'm an idiot. It's right here. Where is this? What is this ringing? <laughs> As you near the top, you will hear a bell ring. Aha. Uh -huh. The exit is near. Perfect. Okay. Anyway, good luck. If we both make it out of here alive, we'll meet again. Hey, hey, wait a sec. Who is this guy? Right, I got it. Now what do I do? Aha! Right. Right, I got it! I made it! <laughs> we can get out through here? Nope, fuck you. Probably be the next puzzle. Just a mind fuck it. Yeah, why don't you kiss the goat? Holy shit, what the hell's that? What the fuck is that? Ah! Go through the door, asshole! Holy crap.
Congratulations. The underground cemetery is over. Huh.